Hi everybody, it's me Adele and welcome to my channel Sew for Serenity where I talk to you about my sewing journey. Welcome back if you're a regular viewer and if you're new here I hope you consider subscribing if you enjoy this vlog. So welcome to this week's Friday Sews where I talk to you about what I've done this week in my sewing room and what my plans are for the week ahead. So first of all what am I wearing? I am wearing the Jarrah sweater by Megan Nielsen that I made quite a while ago now um, when I was a bit smaller so it is a bit tighter on me but it's still quite oversized so I'm still happy wearing this and um, it's made in this white leopard print fabric that I got as a remnant piece from Guthrie Garni. Um, white's not the best colour for me, I don't think I'd buy white again as I feel it gets grimy. I've got little stains on the cuffs that just won't come out but you know it's a comfy jumper and I do like white on me but it's just not the best when you've got little kids and you're a little bit messy yourself. So the thing I like about the Jarrah sweatshirt is there's loads of different styles and I've made a couple. There's the Thai one, there's this one and I think there's a third one which I think has got like a high, high low hem they're really really nice it's a great pattern so if you're looking for a versatile sweatshirt pattern it's a definite um contender for that so this week it's been quite a stressful week <laughs> as those of you who watched last week's friday sews i had a dressmaker's ball disaster so my original dress that i planned on making didn't go to plan well the 12 didn't work out and that's what we do a 12 for right it's to make sure that we like what we're going to make in our real or the real fabric as we call it um and as i shared in my vlog last week i just really didn't like the jumpsuit which was the vogue jumpsuit once i'd made it up so that meant that idea was scrapped so then i had to scrap around to try and find something else that i could make First of all, I want to just say a massive thank you to all of the comments. I know I haven't responded yet, but I do read all the comments as they come in, but I like to take the time to respond properly. Um, there's been a lot of comments saying, thank you for being so honest and sharing the fail. Um, don't ever apologise because this is the whole reason why we like you sharing your journey. Um, and it, I was feeling quite disheartened about it. Um, and your comments really, really made me feel... Um, I don't know, lifted me up, I suppose, and gave me that motivation to find an alternative. Um, so, yeah, this week I've been really focusing on getting my dressmaker's ball dress done. And I did share with you the plissé fabric that I had, which was quite a cheap fabric that I got from Rainbow's Fabrics a while back. Um, I think it was like £5.99 a metre or something like that. And I am pleased to say, drum roll please, or you can see in the corner of my eye, I'll just move this round. She is done! Right, here she is. So, this is the Adriana dress by the Patterns Room. And I have made this dress before, as I shared last week, in a viscose. So I wasn't sure what it was going to be like in this um, plissé. And bear in mind, I've never actually sewn me plissé. So, you know, it's a bit of a gamble, but... I can honestly say I'm in love with it. So I did size up on this because the dress that I made, although I can get it on, it fits me, it's quite tight because I think I made like a size 10. Um, so I did size up on the, and although the skirt would be fine, I sized up to a, I think I sized up to the 14 um, on both the top and the bottom. But I did end up taking some out of the size because the plissé fabric is, it's like a bit, it's, it's got a bit of stretch, I suppose you would say, because obviously when the creases are in it, it kind of, um, there's more fabric there. So it's deceiving. So I have took, I probably have graded back down on the, here, the bust I've kept it as it is, but towards the waist, I've actually graded down because there's a bit too much volume of fabric here. Um, it's got the elastic channel is inside the dress so you don't actually see the elastic channel there you um, attach the top and the bottom and have a two centimeter seam allowance and then you then close that seam allowance and then put the um, elastic through there so that's quite a lovely finish on the outside you can put pockets in this but I didn't because of the fabric I didn't want to um, had any complications to it and i don't really think i'll miss that on a night out because i will have a handbag i wasn't sure how the plissé fabric would work for a tie i ended up getting this gold just zoom in 
you see this gold um, cord from a haberdashery that's worked really well. I think that looks really nice. Um, and I'm really, really happy with it. The brilliant thing about the plissé fabric is you don't have to hem it because it doesn't fray. So I made sure that when I was cutting it, I was really sharp with my cutting um, so I didn't have any like t untidy edges. Um, but yeah, plissé fabric doesn't fray so you don't have to um, hem it. And also if you were going to hem it, you'd have to do a rolled hem or something because otherwise it'd be a bit too bulky otherwise. Um, this is the back. So I would like to get some little... Um, beads to go on the end but I'm not going to have time to do that unless I can get any when I go into Leicester um, on the dressmakers ball day but these are the little tie here and that's the little um, opening at the back now the plissé fabric to cut it out it was fairly easy I was a little bit scared about it because obviously it's got pleats in it but I just put the fat I just put the um, pattern on top of the fabric I did do it on the fold and that it did the fabric didn't move and I just put lots of weights on it um, to try not to and try not to distort the fabric too much and then just cut it out with a really sharp pair of scissors and that's worked really well. Now the challenge with sewing this fabric I don't think was due to it being a plissé. I think it was down to this being this metallic. It's actually quite tough to get through this metallic fabric. The pins are quite tough to get through when I was pinning it. Um, so what I did do is I started off with quite a fine needle because I thought it needed to be quite um, sharp. So I used a microtext, um, but it, it didn't like that. It kept um, moaning, <laughs> it's the only way I can say. So I actually reverted to a hundred um, like a jeans needle and that worked much better it, it pierced through the fabric really well um, I had to bias bind the um, arms and I didn't want to use I didn't use this plissé fabric for bias binding because A of the pleats and B this just doesn't press because it's metallic um, but I did have some specky seamstress um, <laughs> black uh, by a binding which says lost at bobbin chicken which I did a few times on this one and um, so that's on the arms and I love it I mean I haven't got any pictures in it yet but I'm going to save that until the dressmakers ball so I'm going to put pictures in of me obviously for next week so if you watch my Instagram you'll see it and I just really really love it it gives me goddess kind of goddess Greek vibes at the top and then the skirt is an actual not a really full circle skirt but it's a circle skirt and that gives me like Marilyn Monroe like um oh, Marilyn Monroe um Hollywood old Hollywood vibes so I think I'm going to wear some nice red lipstick my black shoes and I've already got a gold bag and I'm happy so I pulled it out the bag last minute so I'm very very happy about that and I can't recommend this pattern enough it's such an easy sew but really effective great summer dress really nice as well because it hides the mum tom as well because you've got this little bit of like almost like a tucked in feature and i think it's worked really well in the police say so very very happy with that so obviously that's been the thing that's really been taking up my time this week because i just wanted to concentrate on that i have been altering a dress for my friend uh, which i don't tend to do alterations for friends but she's going through a bit of a bad patch at the moment and um i wanted to cheer her up she purchased a dress off vintage and it was too big here and in the cups um so that was a lot of pressure but i got that done as well and she's really happy with it so that's really made me happy um, and then the only other thing that I have done, let me just grab it, is finished my um, waistband on my Pietra shorts and I love them. I haven't got any photographs in them yet but I will do. I might be wearing this over the weekend so I'll probably wait until though I can get those photographs with me wearing it with the coordinating jacket but really really love making these and I'm very proud of the finish as well my stitching in the ditch is amazing if I do say so myself and yeah really really love these Pietra pants from Closets Core and then I also have been doing my de-stash so I have de-stashed absolutely loads of fabrics I've been really brutal even fabrics that I love but I haven't loved enough to make something with I've de-stashed and I just want to say thank you to everyone that's purchased from my de-stash account um it really means a lot and that obviously is going to get plowed back into the channel <laughs> um, 
I've got some events coming up soon. I've got the dressmakers ball. I've got the knitting and stitching show in it in the a couple of weeks. So I need those funds for those little outings. So thank you so much for those people, and I hope you'll enjoy your fabrics. There are still a few more fabrics left on there and a couple of patterns. I want to get rid of it all. Um, so I've done a buy one, get the cheapest free across all of the fabrics and all of the patterns. So if you are looking for a bargain, jump on over there and have a look. There's still a few nice fabrics left. And my details on my DSash account are in the show notes below. Okay, so that's my sewing that I've done this week. Not massive amounts to talk to you about, but I have got some plans going forward obviously the big news this weekend is that on from saturday it's a dressmaker's ball being run by the crafty so and so i'm so excited there's quite a few of us going um anna from you got me in stitches there's bex from what bex sews there's katie whatever katie sews there's stacy who is notions of a dressmaker on instagram there's michelle the sewing bunny as well there's me <laughs> and there's also Sarah um, my lovely friend Sarah who's Sarah So Style on YouTube and Instagram so, and then there's loads of other people going as well which um, will be lovely as well I think Nadia's going as well sorry I forgot Nadia um, from Style by Nadia and I just can't wait to be honest with you I'm staying over in the Gresham Hotel with all of the others I've got a room to myself which is really exciting I love having a room to myself even when i'm on holiday with my bestest bestest friends that i've grown up with i like to have a room to myself i'm a bit weird like that so really looking forward to it we are going over for lunchtime meeting up with the other ladies gonna grab some lunch do a little bit of perusing of fabric i'm gonna try i don't think i'm gonna buy any because <laughs> i'm saving myself for the knitting and stitching show and uh then yeah we're gonna go to the ball and the next day we go for brunch a wonderful little um cafe and yeah it's going to be a really amazing weekend so i can't wait so there won't be any sewing being done at the weekend that's for sure um but i do plan to do some sewing in the week so let me talk about what my plans are for the week ahead so things that i want to get done this week are i am a brand ambassador for so confident and if you watched my instagram post earlier in this week i had some happy posts from them and i get to choose two projects to make for the last couple of months of the year and i have got november's window display and also december's window display so november's theme was party dresses and december's theme was snuggle snuggly comfy fat comfy clothes um and that was right up my street so i want to get started on my november window display and that is the Elspeth dress from Style Arc. And I shared on my Instagram stories, this really reminds me of the Seasons of East dress, but with a, with a slightly different sleeve and neckline. Um, so it really appealed to me because I feel like that style suits me, like the high-waisted suits me. So I really like the idea of this. So I've got this pattern to do. And then the fabric that I've chosen, it's all washed already and ironed and it's the fabric godmother i always forget what the name of this is called but i'll have to put it i'll put it in the notes but it's this is their new viscose jacquard which is absolutely stunningly beautiful colors orange um purples pinks which i love and gold splattered on it so yeah really really nice and it's got like a jacquard flowers printed on it so that is going to be the elspeth dress by style arc so that's all ready to go i've also got some interfacing to go with it they send me the interfacing and i've never used this before it is the actual um i think it's still iron on i don't think it's sewing i hope not anyway because i've never done that but it's the woven interfacing as in it's cotton like base not like the plasticky feel so i'll be excited to try that and then they also sent me the big zip that needs to go in it invisible zip so I'd really like to get that cut out this week and I'm excited to make that and I think because the last couple of weeks I felt a lot of pressure about my dressmaker's ball dress and obviously those alterations my friend and stuff kind of took the fun out of sewing a little bit so this week I really just feel I want to do something I'm inspired to sew and I really feel inspired to sew this one of the things I really love about this pattern is it looks really cool with just white pumps and then also nice as a dressy um 
look as well and i think that'll be all i really get done this week i think with the dressmakers ball the weekends out um obviously got to cut this out um fit it sew it visible zip so i'm going to take my time with that but that's going to be my plan i think for this week ahead if i do get a chance i will try and cut out my um i was going to do myself another summer in not a summer a spring in london to off the shoulder seasons of east top in the leopard print fabric and also the walking boldly pants by pattern emporium yeah pattern emporium those trousers that i wanted to do like that coward set which was on my plans list but i'm not going to beat myself off if i don't get that done um the only things left on my september plans is that little coward set which shouldn't take any time to sew up and also the gilet that i want to do for alice in the um quilted fabric but we'll see so that is my plans for this week. I have got some other things to share with you as well. So as I mentioned, my So Confident ambassadorship, I have also got the fabric and pattern for December's window. And I have decided on a new to me pattern company. Now I have got one of their patterns, but I've not made any, I've not made it yet. I've got the jumpsuit that they do. But I ordered from So Confident, the Lavender Robe by Alice & Co Patterns. I'll put a picture up of what it looks like and it's pdf pattern this so it came in i've never ordered a printed pattern from so confident before because they do print a4 and um, sorry a0 patterns and it comes in this lovely little envelope which has the pattern size the project due date the notions you need measurements and then future no, uh, no modifications i thought it was a really nice envelope for storing your pattern in nice and big and my pattern came in like that so that's exciting as well so that's the lavender rose robe and this is the fabric that I got, or I selected. And it's this gorgeous flannel fabric. It's so soft, um, really cosy, and this nice check. I just thought it was hot chocolate, Christmas, super cosy vibes. So. And finally, the last thing I've got to show you is a little bit of fabric that I got, um, also from So Confident. And uh, I got this, when did I get this? This came today and it is a soft knit that i'd have my eye on and it's actually in the sale now they have got i think about five meters of this left because it's in the sale and it's a super super fine mini cable knit so can you see that how gorgeous so it is i would say it'd be fine for a top um a jumper um because it's a little bit i wouldn't say sheer but there's like little holes in it but i just have vibes of a cardigan um a jumper um yeah really really i got i actually got three meters of it because i wasn't sure what i wanted to do but the reason why i got three meters was it was only two pound or well four pound a meter and i cannot tell you how soft this is and cozy and snuggly so for me i feel like i'm going to make a jumper out of this and um also um a cardigan because i think it would just be absolutely super snuggly and comfy i did think maybe trousers but it might just be a bit too sheer for trousers unless i lined it and i'm not sure about lining a jersey maybe i would i know you can get uh, stretch lining so we'll see but i just really couldn't resist it so for that three meters i got that for 12 pounds so if you want to get some you can jump on and get some you can get 10% off using my code Adele 10 any problems let me know and the lovely thing they did as well was they sent me some Mariflex thread for me to try although I have tried it and I love Mariflex but that was a free little gift that they sent me so yeah I think this is going to look stunning and that's it that's all I've got to show you really so a little bit more of an upbeat um vlog than last week um feeling good got my dress done ahead of time and i'm actually recording this on thursday as well which is ahead of the game for me because on friday i've got a really busy work day i want to make sure i'm all packed and ready to go on friday so when i get up in the morning i don't have to rush around like a headless chicken i have got well i have got to rush around like a headless chicken i've got to take my girls and drop them off at their friend's house because they're stopping over at their friend's houses so i'll be going to slimming world um, and then ferrying them out to their friends and then hopefully being able to go and pick Sarah up and then we'll be heading off to Leicester which will be exciting and I'll try and put some stuff on my stories and stuff to keep you in the loop as well so 
that's all from me for now i hope you've enjoyed this vlog if you have please click the like button and if you don't subscribe already please consider subscribing it means the world to me and as always i'll be back next week to fill you in on what i got up to so that's all from me i'll see you all soon happy sewing bye